right. Sean here, and we're with Jack from Skyler Drive. Skyler Drive. Um, now, we've got a couple questions for you. Uh, what's in the inspiration behind your band name? Find the band name. Uh, they came up with it before I joined the band. Uh, pretty sure they're sticking with the story that it was a drunk night and somebody thought it sounded cool. So I think that's the, that's the gist of the name, pretty much. There's not really a meaning behind it. Just kind of rolled off the tongue, and there it was. Now, I know that you guys work with Johnny Craig from Dance Cabin and Dance, and uh, Craig Mabbitt tried to join the band after being kicked out of Bust the Ball. And, uh, how was it working with him, and why did you guys decide not to go with Craig? Uh, well, just to, you know, like, clear the rumors and everything, I'm a... Uh, like what happened was that like Johnny Craig got uh, kicked out of Dance Gavin Dance right around the same time that that you know, like Skylar Drive's old singer left. Um, so they didn't want to cancel the tour that they were on, so they had Johnny Craig fill in for those shows. Um, from from as far as as, uh, as my knowledge, there were never any intentions on joining the band. It was just a kind of like you know like we'll help you get home, but we'll help us finish this tour. And uh, so that's what they did. And then the whole thing behind Craig Mabbitt, uh, I guess he wanted to audition and he was trying to contact our guitarist, Joey. But instead, he contacted Skip Bates' manager, Joey. Um, so there were never any solid plans of him coming in. I never worked with Johnny Craig or anything. I mean, you know, he's a friend and everything, but he was never a part of the music writing or anything like that. Uh, I mean, like, from like the the you know, like ad lib things that he did do live from uh, like over like some of you know, like the wire songs I kept uh, like we kept one line from the from the nights of the, uh, the nights of the round course so there was that one line that we kept the rest they didn't even know what like, you know, like that's actually my next question why you guys decided to keep the original chorus in that song well there's just one line that we kept the whole, uh, the, the whole like, I don't think you know I don't think you know the rest was all different so that was the one part that really followed you know, like music really well and we were all like you know, like that, I, it just fit really well. So that was the one thing that we kept. The rest was completely redone. Everything was completely different. Now, uh, how did it make you guys feel knowing that you're out in the wires and the concept of breathing hit number nine on the top uh, Eat Seekers chart when it debuted? Um, it felt great. Um, uh, like I know that the next album even climbed a little higher. Um, uh, cause I know it was like 170 something on the Billboard 200, and then Adelphia got up to like 60 or 70 something on the Billboard 200. So I mean, like it's crazy to see that. I mean, like any of our albums are even straight you know, like the top 200. I mean, you know, like we never even really, you know, imagine being where we are right now. So it's just, it's crazy that any of that's happening. And, uh, you guys got a new album coming out, which is coming out next week. Uh, yeah, on the 15th. Next week on the 15th. Can you give us uh, a little insight on it? Uh, I'm gonna be on fire. Uh, you can give us a little insight on it. Um, uh, it's definitely just. It's you know, like energy packed. It's got all of the things that people love from the band. Some new things that we've never done before. Uh, like we just wanted to make it as energetic and live as possible. I mean, like we wanted to be a really live-oriented album. Just be really real about it. I mean, all like lyrically too. I mean, like we've always been into you know, writing really fantasy-based lyrics and kind of like, you know, kind of like writing novels a bit. And we wanted to just be really real about everything. Just write about things that, that we've gone through either like with the band and like make it easy to for kids to like relate to me. Because I mean, like they can be like, I remember going through that, or maybe I'm going through that right now. So, so like we just wanted to make everything just more real and just level with people. Now, when you guys toured in uh, February, March 2010 with uh, Became as Rowans of Mice and Man, the World Alive, and Alex Man, and Alex Man, uh, Keith Snyder was actually at one of your shows. Yeah, yeah. Shows, uh, and you made a, a, a pretty good comment about you. Uh, yeah, yeah. How it make you feel? It was great. I mean, you know, I, 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 I get compliments like that will definitely like raise your own you know, like morale and you know, like band morale. You know that somebody is like paid attention to what you do and say that you do well. I mean, you know, like, that's a great thing, especially coming from somebody. You know, yeah. And, you know, like the whole reason I don't know when he was there was that his daughter is a big fan of Alice and Alice Band. So yeah, you know, she was like wearing one of our shirts and stuff, and you know, like he was talking about like how you know like, he's making like another movie and wanted on the soundtrack and stuff. Yeah, and I'd be like, oh, like, that would be, you know, that'd be amazing. So, I mean, just talking to the dude and him, you know, throwing, like, a compliment my way was, was great.
Now, uh, what, what made you guys decide to leave Tragic Hero Records and join the Amazing Friends Records team? Um, it was just, you know, like different, op uh, like different opportunities. I mean, you know, like Tragic, you know, like took us far and they got us, you know, like great tours and got us great things. But, you know, Fearless was just a whole new opportunity for us. You know, like they, they were able to bring us different things than Tragic Hill. So, like, we figured, you know, like, why not try something different? But, I mean, you know, like we still, you know, you know like, keep in touch with, like, you know, the owner of Tragic Hero and stuff. Um, and, you know, like, he's a great dude, so, yeah. Now, do you guys have any crazy fan or tour stories you like to share? Um, actually, this morning, our bassist was uh, was driving and drove us off the side of the road. We decided to go down to one of those like side highway roads that's covered in snow and got us stuck. And our keyboardist had to, you know, uh, back us. I think got half a mile out of this road. And I was like half asleep, and I didn't even notice that um, that our RV was like tilted like 45 degrees over. Like our merch guy got out, he didn't even feel safe being in there. But I was just in my bunk going, all right, when's this gonna finish? And I didn't even know that he was really getting, you know, like literally getting ready to collapse. So glad that, glad that didn't happen. Now, uh, how was the covering Journey Separate Ways uh, for the Funko's uh, compilation? Was that a song you guys picked or why? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, like, we picked like a couple songs before. It was a, it was actually like a really long process picking that song, but then we finally landed on that one and it felt right to us. And uh, even like once we were done, we were like, it sounds like a song that like we could have done on wires or something. Like uh, it just really fit with that style and you know speeding it up. It just it almost sounded like a song that we would have made like, rather than a cover song. Um, but I mean, like, it was great. I mean, I like, you know, like recording it. Like we've always looked, you know, like looked up the bands like Journey. So it was definitely a lot of fun. And last but not least, uh, what is the future hold for you guys? We already know that you got a new album coming up. Uh, any other tours, uh, music videos, DVDs? What can you um, like any other tours this year, we're not really allowed to talk about yet. I mean, like they haven't been announced, but like, we know of things coming up. And then, other than the CD, that's the only you know, like release that we have coming out. Like, there's no talks for DVD yet. Um, but just pretty much a lot of tours coming up this year. Uh, just trying to keep busy and you know get things out there about the new record. Definitely, thank you, man. Thank you.